I'm going to share with you how I make my nested dolls. So this is just a little bit of uh, folk art, I guess. Um, Matryoshka dolls. Um, I make a set with five dolls. There's the baby. And then the next size, larger size, and larger size, and then the largest size. Historically, these were always women, and it meant to represent the five generations of women. You know, great, great grandma, great grandma, grandma, mama, baby. So first thing I do, um, you'll see that mine, I'm going to show you some sets. I do all kinds of different sets. And it's just for fun. It's a little folky um, fun that I make and sell. First thing I do is this layer of the primer. It's a beige acrylic. This is just sets the wood and then I do some drawing and painting. And I'm going to play some music and I hope you relax and enjoy watching me work.
few moments to share some dolls with you. I'm going to show you four different sets that I have made. I have about a dozen. I have a craft show on March 19th, so I'm getting them ready for that, and that will actually the first be the first time that I'm selling them. So I'll see in exactly a week if these are popular, if people like them. Um, what I want with them is I want each one, each one to be unique, totally different from any other set. I want them to be unified in their quality. You know, they're all made by me and I've done my very best to make these good, high quality art slash toys. You know, it's, it's folk art, but this is also a toy. The age range that these are meant for is 8 to 11, uh, maybe, you know, maybe even as young as 6. Now, they are not a toy you can be too rough with. So that's why I say maybe some 6-year-olds, um, <clears throat> this one gave a better angle for you. Some six-year-olds, not a six-year-old that's still into throwing things or, you know, too rough with their toys. So this is a set that I was working on that you saw me in time lapse. I sped up because I thought it was boring, painting. Um, I actually, I have a CD watching someone paint five hours long. I find it fascinating, but for most people, that'd be very boring. So this is Mama. I'll go back. Here's Mama. She's holding flowers. I gave her roses on her babushka. Uh, it's babushka if it's tied in front. And I gave her flowers on the back. I gave her some details of dots along the bottom. I tend right now to do either two styles. I either do a rose or flowered babushka style, or I'm doing dots. Here's the dot style. This was uh, idea came to me from watching that EOS, that lip gloss commercial, where the, the girl walks down the street and the entire street lights up in dots like this, and I, I like that pattern. EOS, I don't know how you call that lip gloss. In those round, they're round pods. You know, I had one of those, someone gave it to me. You don't get much lip gloss in there. I used it and then there's like a whole empty cavity in the bottom, but it looks like you're getting more than you do. Anyway, I'm babbling. Here's the daddy. Dad is holding the land and the house. Now, historically, these dolls were for storytelling. Either, you know, whoever's with the child, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. You know, sibling would, t would tell a story as went from largest to smallest and they often also had a landscape so there's a story in the landscape I landscape I haven't done that because these are you know I'm selling these for twenty dollars I am not going to spend 200 hours on them <laughs> I guess it is I've probably spent maybe 30 hours on each set so I'm already being paid probably 25 cents an hour <laughs> It, that's us artists. We don't get paid much for our time unless you're unless you're very good and famous and I am not. So here is Big Sister, I guess. I gave her leaves and dots. Now I'm just letting my imagination go on these. I want each to be unique. 
I just, as I work on her, I, I kind of get the feeling of what she wants to be. How weird as that sounds. Um, she wanted to hold some berries. And she wanted to be dressed in something totally crazy. She's got these leaves and dots on her babushka. And her dress totally clashes. So also my goal is to make them totally clash. Um, it kind of it reminds me of the, the women that have that, what is it, red dress, purple hat club. <laughs> kind of like them. Like, hey, you know what? I, I'm probably going to join one of those clubs when I retire. Like, I'm going to just wear crazy things and have fun. And this is, now this one, there were no younger siblings. I'm trying to make variations, you know. We've got different families these days. We don't have... You know, some people have large families, but here's single daughter, and she's got a cat. So cat is the next, and he's holding a fish in, in doll land, everybody's friends. And Birdie is in him. Hello, cheep cheep. So Birdie is his friend. You know, Birdie's a pet, not food. Cat. Little girl. So it, in play, you're telling a story as you put these away. You tell a story about the bird, then you tell a story about the cat, story about the girl, story about dad, and then a story about mama. Mama's always the biggest because she's just pretty. Like, if I made dad the biggest, who would want it? Here is my dot style. And I really like these ones. If I was shopping... I would probably buy her. I love the stripes. I love the dots. She's holding flowers just like the last mama was. Um, inside of her is an older sister. It's helping with the housework or something. Um, I find her face is just the cutest. At first I made it and I thought, oh, she's out of proportion and kind of weird looking. And then, you know, she's grown on me. This is the cutest doll. I love her face. She's got flowers on the back of her. She has a little sister dots on her babushka she's got some flowers like they're out in the garden doing work they're picking here some they're picking berries and mom's holding the and this is a younger sister has a tea towel and she's got some flowers baby all right so there's that set Now another dot set. I'll go through this one kind of quickly. Now she's holding a chicken. Uh, I really, I like the, I, I think I'm going to do lots more of these. I like this holding the chicken concept. It's cute. She's in a garden. She's got butterflies and flowers. Dots on her. Again, older sister. She's holding some wheat. So they're really working on the farm in this one. This one, sister's holding apples. Brother, brother's doing some work. Finally, lazy guy. Uh, he's holding an axe. His brother's going to go out and get some. He looks like he's up to no good. He's got a kind of sneaky expression on his face. And he's the baby in this family. This is a cute baby. Yeah. So this is, uh, you know, only limited to your imagination what sets you can make. I'm going to be making some sock monkey sets because I think that is darn cute. Sock monkeys. Um, I've got some animals. Here's cats. So, and I'm trying to make them uni uniquely mine. You know, I can I can surf the internet and get ideas of ideas, but then I'm not going to make your set. I'm going to make my own set. So, there are cat sets out there where I got this idea, and then I've made it my own. He's holding a birdie. They have humanized eyes. These cats, kind of. This guy's holding a fish. He's gray. This guy's holding a pizza. This guy's holding a flower. And then, this is not a cat. This is a mouse. I gave him his swirly tail so you, you know this is a mouse, not a cat. So he's friends with them. They're not going to eat him. This is doll land where everybody's friends. Alright, so that's my uh, Saturday morning crazy thoughts and my sets of dolls. I'm going to show them 
a week from now, we'll see what the public thinks, if people like them, if people buy them. And I can do custom sets if people want something done. A great idea is your own family. Uh, I can work from photos. I can, I can do photorealism. That'll take a long time and I'll, they'll cost more. But um, the timeline for me finishing these, it's about a week each because I work full time. So I'm doing these on my off hours when I'm not making soap or painting paintings or, you know, doing volunteer work. I don't know how I find time, but I do. So <laughs> um, about a week to finish them and, uh, you know, weeks for shipping. So month to month and a half if you had a, an idea you wanted a custom set and I welcome ideas so please in the comment section if you if you think you've got a good idea for a set I could make um, just doing me a favor by sharing your idea I appreciate that so much because um, these are just for fun I, I'm not I'm not going to get rich off Matryoshka dolls I live in an area that is very orthodox there are orthodox churches everywhere and this is a historic Russian and Russian slash Ukrainian, uh, mostly Ukrainian toy. Like this, I'm in the Ukrainian area. So um, if you go to Russia, if you go to Moscow, these these are everywhere. So I looked for something that is missing in my area. That's why I'm making these. I'm in an Orthodox area. No one else is making Matryoshka dolls, and I have the skills and the desire. For to do it so I did and I will find out a week from now if people like it all right so I just wanted to share that with you something different in the soapy world because many of us do soaps but we also do our other crafts so I encourage other soapers if you have some other crafts or paintings or something why don't you share it with us we want to know a little bit you know more about what else you do in your free time and we think you're awesome all right Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye -bye.